this series that's something that's got to click for you guys to win it? One of those kind of things. I think we just we know they have highly skilled uh, forward group, and um, if we aren't ready, aren't prepared in transition, and uh, you know, limit their power play opportunities, then they're they're going to score. So um, we want to make sure we take care of the puck and uh, make great decisions with it. And uh, hopefully, we know they're going to get chances, but uh, we want to be smart. So I think that's a big key for us. What do you put on the last couple games? Is that not much kind of fine tuning? Or can um, you use it to scout a little bit? Well, I just think we want to win. And, uh, you know, especially Friday, there's a lot on the line there. And um, we, I don't think, played to our highest level. And uh, so hopefully that's a reminder to our guys that we're going to need to bring it because that's a very good team. They won the division for a reason, and uh, that's what we can use it for as a reminder of, uh, I mean, it's, you know, the, the level is going to rise again. So uh, we've got to use the week to prepare, and, and then uh, come Saturday, bring it. You guys were one of the least penalized teams throughout the year in the league, but had the 30th ranked penalty kill. Is that just one of those weird things that he presents, or is there something that needs to needs to change as you move forward? Well, I think the beginning of the first half of the year we were we weren't very good, and, and the penalty kill. I think the last um, two months, and that's both special teams, both power play and penalty kill. Penalty kill uh, if you if you teased out those numbers, I think they'd look pretty good. And I, I think that's no coincidence that uh, we we begun to string together some pretty good results. Um, I think the five on five play has been excellent all year, and uh, the special teams kind of holding us back at times. And uh, we fixed that. And you know, on the weekend uh, they scored some goals, but uh, I think we still feel pretty confident we're we're prepared. The past two times you saw Chicago, they're both really high scoring games. Is that something you're expecting for this first round? Um, I don't really know. Uh, you know, I, I think, like we talked about earlier, they, they have the ability to put the puck in the net. I, I think we'd like to uh, not give them so many odd man rushes and uh, power play opportunities as we did the last couple of games. Uh, I think we've shown we can score ourselves and we can come from behind, but uh, you don't want to put yourselves in, in that situation over and over again because uh, eventually it's going to bite you. So. We're, we talked about earlier here the last couple months, we need to be a 2-1-3-2 two, two team. I think to still have that uh, that mentality will serve us well. You guys, uh, you know, as recently as March 10th, we're in sixth place in the division. What, what do you think was the key to that switch to get into a playoff position? Uh, I just think consistent consistency. Um, I think we were able to, to string together some very good performances night after night after night and um, even within that stretch the times where we weren't at our, our very best we uh, found ways to survive um, defensively and keep the puck out of our net and then our power play came through where we got a big goal from someone and uh, so that's how you can win five six in a row and, and have you know the last couple months that we did so um, I think showed a little extra level of maturity for, for our team, and uh, but that's what we needed it. So <laughs> if, we, if we didn't find that, we wouldn't be still playing. So uh, I think a very good um, sign of, of the development of our group, and uh, it's been fun to watch. This is your first year coaching in North America, and you are making the playoffs. How are you personally feeling about that accomplishment? Uh, just excited. I think uh, as, a, as a player, you, you want to play, and, and this time of year, this is where you prove yourself and I think it's the same as a coach um, we we believe this team has the chance to do some damage here and, and when we focus on this round and, and then see what happens but uh, that's what you want as a competitor to to be involved this time of year um, I've said a couple of times now half the league is at home so um, we've done done something we've done a good job and but now we have to find another level and so that's the challenge for the staff and the challenge for the players is to um, prepare the best we can so that uh, we can be better than them over five games.
How much more pressure is there in a five game series as opposed to a seven? Yeah, things happen quick for sure. You know, we got we play two games in less than 24 hours, and so uh, that's the series is gonna it can look a lot different than it does now um, by Monday morning. So it's important that we're prepared. We uh, every little thing is gonna matter. You never know, you know which which facet of the game or w which part of the game it can decide the series. Um, you know, I, my own experiences and, and the guys that we have here, we're going to lean on that and hopefully we can uh, get everyone on board with the idea that you, you just you just never know what's going to decide things and, and so we got to be ready all the time. What's your feeling about who belongs in goalie for you guys right now and how how would you handle that situation throughout this series? Yeah, well, we're going to discuss it and uh, we'll make a decision later in the week. Um, I think probably not going to go into any hypotheticals um, because we're going to we're going to react to the situation as it happens but what I can say is we, we really like both guys and uh, they've both proven they can win for us so that's a pretty good position to be in. You think you've used both of them in the series or? I don't know. You guys have a, a lot of players obviously now you know fifth line here in practice mm -hmm. Samuelson being on that line is that is it going to be a difficult thing to try and, and jumble the lines to figure out who's going to be playing that night and which player is doing well? Yeah, we we got some depth here and um, some guys who have been a big part of our season who uh, you know could be on the outside looking in. We've played around with the combinations here for the last ten days and you know tried tried one look in practice. We had one look on Saturday. We had a different look on Friday. So you know, we'll see what we decide to do. Um, Come Saturday, but what I do know is we got a lot of guys who I think can help us, and um, I think that puts us in a pretty good spot over over this uh, five games. That hopefully we can, you know, outpace them, out depth them. Uh, we want to keep uh, keep the pressure on, and and uh, I think we got a lot of different guys who can contribute and help us win. So we feel good about that. You had two players join the team late in the season with Kevin and Denny and Christy and Michael. Mm -hmm. They've kind of been driving the, the production in the last few weeks. Talk a little bit about like what their experience means and what they mean to the team. Yeah, both those guys, you know, they they have the ability to make plays, and um, they get that little bit extra. Uh, they can put it under a stick, put it through a seam. Um, they, not everyone has that, and uh, that was welcome for our group. I think it's no coincidence that our power play really kicked in once they came. You know, France and. Uh, was a big part of that too. Those three kind of uh, really drove things on that one unit. And um, the other part that that we have really liked is uh, they both got a little personality. You know, they got some some jam and some energy, and I think um, that's good for our team. A little bit of swagger. And I think that for such a young group, it really helped us to feel good about ourselves and believe that we should win every, any given night. Um, they came in with that attitude that, hey, we're pretty good players and um, kind of rubs off on guys. You guys were the least penalized team in the league during the regular season. It kind of uh, unraveled a little last weekend with a bunch of penalties. Uh, what's your message to the guys about, you know, staying out of the box and, and how to play physical without getting into trouble? Yeah, well, it's exactly that. we got to play hard and uh, play on the edge but not get carried away. And I think... You know, there's a few situations where we did. We, we would like to see us control our emotions a bit better. I also think that uh, some things that were called on the weekend won't be called on uh, on Saturday. Just think uh, for whatever reason, we got the short end in some situations. But uh, regardless of what happens, we've got to control our own play, control how we react. Uh, whether a call goes against you or not, or maybe you get a call, it, it doesn't matter. We got What's important right now is the next shift, and uh, playing hard and, and playing for the team. And uh, if we do that, then I don't think discipline's been a problem all year. So I don't expect it to be now. How beneficial is it to have such a short distance? Well, it's it's nice, a little extra travel or practice time. Um, you know. I, I don't think it really affects this round because we're in the same boat. You know, both teams are uh, have the same travel. But uh, maybe if whatever team goes further, it could help. But um, that's one again one of those things we don't control. So we just 
deal with what's in front of us, and uh, it's a pretty good team we're going to play. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's skating. He's, he's part of the group, and uh, we'll see if he's available for the weekend. But, uh, of course, he's a good player, and nice to add him to, to the group we have to choose from for the games, and you know, we're likely going to need him. Last question. Is Polkanen one of those guys who he's so talented you don't really expect to shut him down? You just hope to contain him a little bit? Well, he's going to get his looks. Uh, you know, he's an important part of their power play. But uh, we just want to – got to be smart in transition. We can't be giving up three and twos and four and twos, you know, five, six times a game because uh, he's, he's a good player. He's going to put it in the right spot. And, um, you know, obviously we have confidence in our goalies. They can make saves, but uh, we don't want to ask too much of them.